the enigmatic smile of the Mona Lisa has fascinated art lovers for five centuries. Who was the woman depicted by Leonardo in his famous portrait now in the Louvre Museum in Paris? Scientists believe they may have the definitive answer by comparing the DNA from the skeleton of a woman uncovered last year in the convent of St. Ursula in Florence with that of some of her descendants. Their tomb, opened for the first time, lies inside the crypt behind the altar of the Santissima Annunziata Basilica. Lisa Gerardini lived at the beginning of the 16th century. She was the wife of a silk merchant called Francesco del Giocondo. This tomb in a Florentine church has been identified as that of Francesco and perhaps two of his sons. It may sound far-fetched, but scientists believe that with the remains found here, they may be able to establish once and for all the true identity of Leonardo da Vinci's famous sitter. If the time frame coincides with the bodies that we find here, we will be able to do the DNA comparison and the magic of science and technology, thanks to the connection between mother and children, will allow us to know if we have found Mona Lisa. It was the Renaissance art historian Giorgio Vasari who first identified Leonardo's Mona Lisa as Lisa Gerardini. The artist took about 15 years to complete what's become one of the most famous paintings of all time. After Leonardo's death, it was acquired by the King of France. Now DNA analysis may give us an answer to the identity of the Mona Lisa who became a nun after the death of her husband. Six million people every year gaze on her face in Paris. David Willey, BBC News, Rome.